tenth. Okay. After the list, Paul then finishes with, here it is, but Christ is all in all. The presence of Christ in a believer is all that matters. In him, all distinctions are swept away and all are on an equal playing field. We cannot hold grudges against race, creed, culture, ethnicity, and so on by saying that they are not deserving of Christ. All are and all are welcome. You know, the fallacy of the uh, of the ethnicity deal, the um, uh, thing we're going through right now with uh, racism and all that, the fallacy of that is watching or listening to a person like Thomas Sowell. Thomas Sowell is a great thinker. I don't know if he's a Christian or not, and that's not the point here. The point is that he is a great, great thinker. Yes. He's conservative. He is a person that anybody that is normal brained would say this is a great man mm -hmm. he is a great great person and what does the left do they yeah. excoriate him he's an uncle tom he's this and these it tells you that the racial distinctions that are set up in this world today do not exist except in the minds of the people that want them to exist okay that's all there is to it when you take a person like that and you say well he's he's listen he's a great thinking person and anybody that looks at his skin color and says he's not qualified because he's black is a racist. But the people that say that he's not qualified because he's a conservative are more racist, way more racist. So uh, we need to remember these things is that what Paul is saying here is actually valid 100% in our walk today. Thomas Sowell. He's been, uh, been a conservative talk radio host for years. You can go on YouTube and he's an old man now and they, they do interviews with him. And he just talks with these, these people and he will tell you things that you have never heard, ever. S-O-W-E-L-L. -L. He is an absolutely wonderful thinker. He's, a, he's like a Dennis Prager, okay, but he's, he's a, a black guy. And he is despised by the left because he is a great conservative thinker.